Well, guys, there's no doubt about it that the United States of America is weak. We are weak because we have weak leadership. Joe Biden. We need to talk about him. Now, every morning over there on Twitter and also on, on, on True Social, Dan Bongino actually puts out a tweet. Today is whatever the date is. Joe Biden is the worst U.S. president in American history. He's tweeted that out every single day. Because we have evidence and we know for a fact that this man is probably the worst leader this country's ever had. Other countries do not respect us. Russia and China, they don't respect us. This man is weak and frail, falling asleep at the wheel. The borders are open in this country and even our sky borders are open. Now, you guys probably already know about the uh, the Chinese, quote unquote, weather balloon. That's what they're saying it is. It's a spy balloon. Even the U.S. government has said that, yeah, this is a spy balloon. It was actually found earlier in the week. And I've been sitting back and I've been waiting. Why have we not shot this thing down? I mean, China is definitely spying on us. And I believe that uh, TikTok needs to be banned everywhere. That is a Chinese weapon. Now, one thing that I must say about YouTube. They definitely want to take the uh, the Chinese market with uh, YouTube shorts. And I'm all on board with that. I've actually been making some shorts. We need to get rid of TikTok in this country. We do. I mean, the stuff that's being posted over there on, on TikTok, it's just outrageous. But that is the American version of the Chinese app. A whole bunch of wokeness. That's what China wants for us. Now, when it comes to this uh, balloon, finally, guys, they finally decided to actually take it down. And this probably happened about about an hour ago on Fox News. U.S. military shoots down Chinese spy balloon over Atlantic Ocean. Now, here's the thing. They wait. They waited until it got all the way to the Atlantic. I believe this thing actually was found in Montana days ago. Now, the government said, yeah, we disabled it and it can't actually read anything or something like that. I'm not buying it. The U.S. government allowed this thing to travel over the continental United States. And China says, oh, it's nothing more than a weather device. Not buying it. Will there be any consequences on China? Probably not. Now, guys, when it comes to that Hunter Biden laptop, 10 percent for the big guy. Yeah, Joe Biden has been pretty, pretty weak when it comes to China. China is the biggest threat to this country. China is buying up a bunch of land here in the United States, and I believe that needs to stop. It needs to stop, whether it's on a state level or federal level. The influence of China, the Marxist Chinese, it needs to come to an end. It needs to stop. The CCP has just really, really, they're just really, really trying to take over everything. Everything. We're so much weaker because of that man that occupies 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue that I call Beijing Biden. Because Beijing Biden is definitely influenced by communist China. It took days Probably what? How many days has that thing been flying around? I don't know what, four or five days, something like that. And all of a sudden, when it actually gets off of the coast of the United States, only then is it actually shot down. Look here, guys, right here. This came out uh, today. Actually, I believe it was actually yesterday, but this article was published today. Second Chinese surveillance balloon spotted over South America. And this is from the Pentagon right here. Now, of course, we can't do anything about shooting down 
that spy machine in South America. But what if it actually does get over here? What if it's what if what if this thing actually crosses into Texas? Is Joe Biden actually going to stop this thing? I don't have any confidence that that's going to happen. Joe Biden waited until it was safely off of U.S. territory to shoot this thing. That's what happened. He waited until it was safely over the water where it couldn't spy anymore. I believe, folks, that the Chinese probably collected a whole bunch of data. And if you're buying that this is a weather machine, you are gravely, gravely mistaken. The Chinese want to spy on us. And this came after Beijing Biden said that we're going to take care of it. Why so late? Why so late? Why did you actually wait so long? This is ridiculous. To wait this long. This is just unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Joe Biden just sat on his hands for days. You know, it's almost just as bad as leaving Americans behind in Afghanistan. If you ask me. I can't think of one good thing that this man has done. And this is the photo here. Of this uh, large uh, spy balloon right here. This is off the coast of North Carolina right here. It looks like an airplane is passing it. This thing's pretty big. Pretty big right there. It says here. A senior U.S. official told Fox News on Saturday that the government was considering a plan to shoot the balloon down while it's over the Atlantic Ocean, where where it wouldn't harm any individuals on the ground. The official added that the U.S. government could potentially recover the balloon. During the briefing on Thursday, the defense official said that the balloon had been previously spotted over Montana. Where a decision uh, was made to not shoot it down because of the potential risk. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Montana is a pretty rural area. It is. They allowed this thing to cross the entire United States. Before they did anything about it. I think it's safe to say, man, if you need any more confirmation that Joe Biden is compromised by China. I mean, what are you waiting on? This man is clearly compromised by the Chinese Communist Party. I remember in this country in the 1980s, man. We were firmly against communism. Boy, how things have changed in 40 years, man. We're looking weak on the world stage. And the communist Chinese are just bullying us. And this needs to end. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.